Hi guys, so we are going full circle and I think we're going back to either day three or day four when I made them PJs. Remember them? I hated them. I almost scrapped the video. Well, guess what we're making? A pair of PJs! This is the pattern I am going to be using and it's going to be this top here and these pants here. However, I am going to make these more like a capri style pan. They're not going to go all the way down to my feet like this. Okay guys, I am back to pattern cutting. Now the last time I did this, one of my subscribers asked me how I cut my pattern out in particular. So, the one thing I do do is pin, pin it in place. And then I literally just cut around it with a pair of scissors. I've tried to do it with a rotary cutter before now, but I much prefer scissors. So I have my sharp fabric scissors here and I literally, I'm just going to cut around the pattern. This is my first piece cut. I will keep the pattern attached until I am ready to use it and then I'll mark the notches when I'm ready to sew my pattern in place. I now have all of the pattern pieces cut and it's time to get sewing. So everything has gone absolutely awesome so far. I have done the front well, the back and the two sides are attached. I am now attaching the facing to one of the side panels here. Let me just get my foot pedal. And I'm just going to sew along. This time I have used my serger. This is currently what I have so far. So this opens out, so this is the left hand side and this is the facing that I've just attached. It just helps to stabilise the, the buttonholes and just helps to make it a bit more weighted down. And plus the top of this collar is going to fold back a little bit like this. And this is where I went wrong the first time round. I didn't do this part. Okay, so I am just hemming down my sleeves. Okay, these pajama pants nearly threw me off because it's kind of odd how they go together. And if you've ever made pajama pants before, you'll know exactly what I mean because it's kind of, yeah, if you, it's best to mark your legs on the bottoms and which is your waist because it can easily throw you off. In my last video I got asked how I did my casing for my pants, my um, pyjama pants. So this is what I've done. I have searched the bottom of this hem, then I've lapped it over. Now Part of this here is going to be for the elastic. Now I am going to leave a gap like this in order to thread the elastic through and I am going to stitch all the way around the bottom here to close all of this up. So all of my elastic is going to be enclosed and then when I get the elastic in here I am then going to top stitch this opening closed. At this point here, I'm just going to go in. I have a safety pin on one end and I just go in from one end and I just start to pull all of the elastic through until we've reached the other end. So I'm just enclosing that opening now. I have my um, elastic already in there. And also, another thing that I want you to bear in mind is always use a zigzag stitch whenever you're finishing off that elastic because the zigzag stitch has a stretch to it. If you use a straight stitch, it's going to probably pop on you. So always use a zigzag stitch on elastic. 
So this is how I do it. You may do it a different way, but this is how I do it. So I've tried it on a couple of times and I've marked a pin where I want my button to go and I've lined up the um, how far I want this flap to go over and I've lined up the buttonholes with the actual um, where I want the button to be placed. So I can just mark down with my ruler. I'm going to keep my ruler here because that's exactly where I want the buttons to be. And then opposite from the centre, I'm just going to mark each buttonhole to the corresponding button. All that's left to do now is to put the buttons on, which I'm doing right now, and also to attach the pocket. Now, I'm not quite sure about the pocket. I don't think it's going to go on the top like it's supposed to. I think I'm going to put it on the pants. Okay, I deliberated a little bit too much about this pocket, but I am going to put it on the top after all. I just thought the top is too long and it's just going to hide on the pants. You're not even going to see it. And since I've actually cut it, then I might as well just put it on. Okay. Please don't shy away from making pyjama tops because they're really not that difficult and I know a lot of people make pyjama pants but seriously choose the correct fabric and it's very very easy especially out of flannel you can't really go that wrong. So I have this weird angle going on because I'm trying to get myself all in the screen. I actually did it and I love the fit, they're so much better, so much better. Maybe the arms could be shortened, maybe I knew somebody who can do that for me. Um, but I love the colour, everything is absolutely perfect and I am so happy! I really hope you've enjoyed watching this series. I hope you've been inspired, I hope you've been motivated, I hope you want to get out that sewing machine and create a lot more with that sewing machine. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing me in my next video. Thank you, bye! Okay, this is one for the blooper reel. Guess what? I closed the darn casing up. Well, I do love my seam ripper.